please visit us at victoryforhope.com to book coaching sessions, personal readings, enroll in courses, or to purchase merchandise and other supplies. Hello Aquarius, this is Lex. I'm here with your December reading. I have already pre-shuffled and drawn your cards. I will go through the way they came out and then clarify and rearrange as necessary, okay? Please like and comment if any of this resonates with you. If it doesn't, check your moon, rising, or Venus. And uh, please hit that subscribe button, okay love? So first card I have is two of air. Four of water. Five of air. Knight of Fire, Eight of Water, and Knight of Earth. Okay, just a moment, Aquarius. Aquarius, I really hate to see some of these cards here yet again because it seems to be like an ongoing theme with you guys to where you're just basically unhappy, but you are not making any moves. You're not content where you are. You're not feeling like you're being fulfilled emotionally, uh, financially. Okay, searching for something more meaningful. Desire to move on is what the Eight of Water says. Four of Water, missing an opportunity. There's plenty of stuff around you, but you ain't making no move. Why is that, Aquarius? Learn what you can from the situation and move the heck on. That's what I'm getting. All right. I have this night of fire and this night of earth down here. And it's saying that time is of the essence. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. Okay. Stop procrastinating. Basically is what the heck I'm getting here. I'm going to get a couple of clarifiers here. But that basically is, is what it is. Your message for December is to stop procrastinating. You know what needs to be done just don't know why you're not doing it okay so let's clarify this two of air why are you unwilling to make a decision it ain't going two of pentacles You could be afraid. Um, you could be afraid that you making a move is not going to be financially um, smart for you. With this Two of Pentacles, this is regarding um, uh, money and assets, monetary things. Maybe you think you don't have the resources to do it. Here you are again, the hangman, unwilling, not wanting to. Four cups again, missing opportunities. Open your eyes to the possibilities. You're discontent. You need to, to step forward. Five of swords. I want to clarify this because this is... Okay. Okay, Aquarius, this is what I'm getting. With this Five of Swords, normally when I see this, it's someone that's around you that is being an opportunist. And you may have somebody around you that is being an opportunist. And you feel that if you make a choice to do what it is that you want and what you desire and what you need, that you're being selfish. This Five of Swords is a selfish energy, an opportunistic energy. And you see people like that around you and you don't want to become that. But that's not what this is, Aquarius. Let's clarify this Five of Swords. 
Ace of Pentacles. You're going to stay right here where you at, unhappy and unfulfilled until you start making these moves. You got the money. You got it. It's Ace of Pentacles. These are new opportunities in finance and career. Two aces. New beginnings. It is time. It is more than time. This is December. 2019 is coming to a close, Aquarius. Whatever this is, whoever this is, you need to bring that to an end and leave this, all this undecisiveness, not willing to do nothing. You need to leave this in 2019, baby. All right, so let's get you a couple of um, romance angel cards, okay? I just, <laughs> I just heard scared money don't make money. <laughs> that might mean something to y'all, okay? Scared money don't make money. You being scared, you ain't going to never do nothing in your life if you're scared all the time. Okay, so for you romance oracles, I have to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. That five of swords energy, that opportunist may be your red flag. You know it. You ignoring it. Second card I have, let your friends help you. Ask for it and accept support from others. Okay, you're not alone. There's no need to be fearful in this situation because you have family and friends that are around you that have been where you are, that have made the steps that you are trying to take, that you would like to take. There's people all around you who have already done that. So take a look at them. Take a, a snapshot of them and say, you know what? If they can do it, I can do it because that's true. Ain't ain't nothing on this world just for one person. Just just like, for instance, me and a, a co-worker, ex-co-worker, she, you know, asked me, well, you know, how is it that you have two cars? And I'm looking at her. She asked me, well, are you married? I was like, no. And she's like, well, are you, you know, doing this at the time? You know, no. You know, I live by myself. It's just me and my son. And she was like, well, how can you afford two cars? I said, well, I said, you got one car, right? She said, yeah. I said, you make the payments every month, right? I, she said, yeah. I said, okay, so that's the same thing that I did. I paid for one vehicle and I went and got another one. I said, they still making them if you want to go get you one. It, it's, it's, enough, it's enough money out here for everybody. Okay, everybody can get some. I want everybody to win. You know, I, I'm not jealous and, and, and you're not selfish for wanting more for yourself, Aquarius, okay? Let, let me go on because I'm about to start preaching on, you know, on here. I ain't, I ain't mean to do that. Last card I have here is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so I want to clarify this red flags here. For those of you who are single, quit jumping into stuff just to be uh, with somebody to avoid, lon avoid loneliness. You may be in the wrong relationship and you're refusing to call it off because you're scared of being alone. Divine timing. You, the, the thing that's meant for you can't come in. <laughs> Cards coming out before I get my words out. Thing that's meant for you can't come in until you end this garbage that needs to be out of the way. You need to make room for the stuff to, to get better. You can't get a better job until you apply for a new one. You can't move into a bigger place until you move out the smaller one. You can't be in a fulfilling romantic relationship until you get out of the draining one. Okay? Let's see if we get some more advice cards for you in love. Yeah, it's somebody that wants to come near you. Could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or um, 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 Aries, okay? They want to come in. They're coming in hot, but you, you ain't giving them no time of day because you still feeling beat up from your current situation or your past, your recent past situation, okay? Aries, it, it's, I mean, uh, sorry, 
Aries is probably who's coming, trying to come to you. Aquarius, um, let me get you a couple of um, archangels to tie all of this in, okay? Yeah, it, it's just time for you to move on. Quit procrastinating. That's the title of your video. You know what you need to do. You're just not doing it. Ain't no need for you to... You know what to do. One, two. You know what to do. It says, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave that right there. No more needs to be said. All right, Aquarius, that is your December 2019 reading. Please like and comment if any of this resonates with you. If it did not, please check your moon rising or Venus. So hit the subscribe button if you have not already, darlings. And if you would like to purchase products, uh, book a consultation, a coaching session, or a reading with me, there is a link in the description below, okay? Take care.